Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, as some of you may know, I recently moved here to the UK for university and it's been a lot to get used to. From making new friends, getting used to my degree and all the studying that comes with that, settling into my new home. And I've wanted to film all that stuff to share my experiences, but I haven't been able to bring myself to. With all the suffering that's going on and us just living our normal day-to-day -day lives, it just feels wrong. Since this conflict really escalated in Palestine around a month ago, I've kind of been hopeful that something better was going to happen. Some sort of ceasefire, some sort of resolution, but none of that's happened. Rather, everything's just been getting worse. And I feel like it's my duty as someone with some level of following to talk out against the genocide that's happening against our Muslim brothers and sisters right now. And I think before anything, we should just start with some facts. Since Hamas, more than 9,200 Palestinians have been killed. That includes 3,800 children. That means that in the past one month in Palestine, the number of children killed in Gaza alone has surpassed the annual number of children killed across all world conflict zones since 2019. Since Hamas, in the past one month, Israel have dropped countless bombs which combined are more devastating than the atomic bomb dropped in World War II. More than 200 schools have been damaged, about 40% of the total number of schools in the Gaza Strip. And over half of all buildings in Gaza have now been destroyed. 1.4 million Palestinians are now homeless. Now with all that's going on, with all the terrible stories that we hear day to day, online or on the news, I think it's important that we remain sensitized to what's actually happening in Palestine. 9,200 people aren't just numbers on a screen, those are people dying. The difference between 9,200 and 9,201 is a whole person losing their life. Look around yourself, look at your family, your friends, the people you know. Imagine three people dying, how terrible that would be, how it would affect you, how it would affect your mind, how upset you'd be. Now imagine 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 people, 9,000, 3,800 children dying. That's children losing their parents, fathers losing their sons, whole bloodlines being wiped out at the hands of oppressors who've been oppressing the same people for over 75 years. And I think it's important to note that being pro-Palestinian doesn't mean being pro-Hamas. It doesn't mean being anti-Semitic and wanting all Jews gone. Free Palestine means free the Palestinian people from their oppressors, their occupiers, who've been taking away their basic human rights for over 75 years. It's a call to stop caging 2.3 million Palestinian people in the world's largest open-air prison. Half of those people being caged are children, over 1.1 million Palestinian children. Free Palestine is a call to give back the Palestinians their basic human rights, control over their own land, their own people, and to stop them being killed mercilessly. This situation is just awful, and I think it's difficult not to feel sort of helpless with all that's going on. But whenever we're in doubt, we should look back to the time of the Prophet, back to his example. Look at the Battle of Badr. It was 313 Muslims against over a thousand of the Quraysh. The Muslims were outnumbered, they had less weapons, the Quraysh had over 200 horses. The Muslims had almost nothing. All the odds seemed stacked against them. And what's the first thing the Prophet did? He raised his hands and he made dua. He prayed to Allah to help the Muslims against the opposition, against the odds that were all stacked against them, and the Muslims triumphed. Allah says in the Quran, which translates to, and when my servant asks you about me, then tell them I am near. I answer the call of every believer when they call upon me. So if the Prophet did it, we should follow his example. We should make dua for our Muslim brothers and sisters against their oppressors. And we should try and better ourselves, try and increase in our religion, in our prayers, to get our duas answered, inshallah. Do good, increase in worship, increase in prayer, read more Quran, make dua when it's raining, when you're on a journey, in the last third of the night, the last hour of Jummah. Call upon Allah, he's always there for us when all else fails, when no one else is there, when no one else will support the Palestinians, Allah is always there for them and there for us as well. And don't despair. Allah says in the Quran, فَإِنَّمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَى Verily after hardship comes ease. So inshallah after this hardship there will be ease. I pray for all of our Palestinian brothers and sisters. Honestly, I can't imagine what they're going through. Like I can't wrap my head around what they must be facing on a day-to-day -day level. It's not even something I can imagine. I've heard people online saying a lot, you don't need to be Muslim to support Palestine, you just need to be human, and I agree. People are being killed now, they don't even have an army. How could you not support Palestine? Everyone should stand with Palestine right now. They need us. If you can't come to people's aid and support them in a time like this, 
when innocent civilians, children, men and women are all being killed, when can you ever stand for them? These are humans losing their lives every single day. Children, 3,800 children have died. And the shocking thing is you still see online people supporting Israel, all these celebrities supporting them. It's just completely shocking. So we all as a community have to stand up for the Palestinian people. My followers, you, your family, your friends, everyone, share this video to anyone you think it would help because I think we really need to spread as much as possible that we stand for the Palestinian people, the innocent people who are now being killed. Anyway, I won't go on for too long. Inshallah, everyone make dua. I'll be making a lot of dua myself. Uh, and yeah, that's the end. I'll talk to you all soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.